Let's look at the intermolecular forces present in NaCl. This is sodium chloride. So for sodium chloride, we have a metal here. Sodium's a metal and chlorine's a nonmetal. So we're thinking it's going to be an ionic compound. And there's a big difference in electronegativity between sodium and chlorine. Sodium, therefore, loses an electron. It becomes positive. If the chlorine gets that electron, it becomes negative. So we do have ions present in NaCl. We go over here, and so yes, we have ions. It says, are there polar molecules present? When we talk about molecules, we're talking about molecular bonds, covalent bonds. And that would take place between two nonmetals. Here we have a metal and a nonmetal. So that's not the case. We don't have a polar molecule. We don't have a molecule at all. So therefore, we go down here, we have ionic bonding for NaCl. And that ionic bonding is because we have ions and we have a big difference in electronegativity. If you look at these different types of intermolecular forces here on the bottom, ionic bonding is going to be one of the strongest of these forces here. And that's why NaCl, it's a solid, it's a crystal, and it has a really high melting and boiling point. This is Dr. B looking at the intermolecular forces for NaCl, sodium chloride. Thanks for watching.